Welcome to Hello Self. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, coach, and author, Patricia Leonard. Hello there and welcome to Hello Self Podcast. You all who have tuned in before know that the mission of Hello Self Podcast is to raise awareness of the many signs and Hello Self moments in our life that have impacted the trajectory of our living and or our career aspirations. So I always like to say that a goal of ours is to turn our your cans and my cans into cans and our dreams into plans. And that can happen by getting our dreams and goals off that someday shelf. So today, I wanted to share with you a recent Hello Self moment that I experienced and I've titled this about the law of attraction and focusing on the law of attraction at the body, mind, soul, and spirit level. Because my understanding is that the law of attraction is about making things happen with our mind focused on something. So I like to think that Hello Self and the Law of Attraction are always dancing a beautiful waltz in our lives. And often we are too busy to trying to change the steps of the dance or the music and we miss the dance. If any of you have heard Garth Brooks' song, The Dance, if you have, you can begin to understand a little bit more about where I'm coming from. And I suggest you go on YouTube and listen to the lyrics of that song. And I think it will make my podcast a lot more understandable. Because we don't want to miss the dance. But sometimes we're so in control in the ex- instead of experiencing the dance, We want to control how the dance steps happen and the music that's playing. So what I have experienced this week is a law of attraction in my own specifically specific life. And it was a hello self moment because it was not anything planned or an imagining I had at least at the external level. Now, because I believe, and what I'm focusing on, is that the law of attraction maybe comes from inside, more of an internal kind of experience. And that is led from the body, mind, soul, and spirit making a connection. Instead of, this is my goal, this is my dream, Because a lot of what I had learned about the law of attraction was if you want to manifest something in your life, first, think about what that is. And to me, that's the mind part. They use it in in accumulating wealth, in sports competition, in a lot of the goals that we normally think of. We go to the mind and the ego to create that movement forward. However, I think that what I experienced this week was spirit and soul interjecting something. And I do believe that on this planet, our lives have a purpose. And sometimes we get so involved in controlling what that purpose is that we move, we lose sight of who we are and even the aspects of us that spirit yells at. Sometimes you hate the job you're in 
And all the time, your soul and your spirit is thinking, move on. Oh, no, I can't move on. So we have to start controlling and making it happen. This week, I making it happen our way. This week, I had a hello self moment of awareness that caused me to look at the law of attraction in a very different way. And that is one that is not controlled from the outside or the mind thinking only or the ego thinking what is right for us. But obviously something in my hello self moment tapped in to an internal kind of guidance or knowing, if you will. It reminds me of the book I wrote before Hello Self book. It was called The Listening and the Knowing. And in that book, I highlighted the fact that we have to learn how to listen to what spirit is saying, what is going on inside of us, how our body feels, we don't like this. Uh, We meet people that uh, doesn't always feel exactly uh, the way we would like to have the feelings go. So we have these nudges all the time, but we don't pay any attention to them in most cases. This one was about a an attraction to a person. And I barely knew that person. But it was just like I couldn't explain it. It was a hello self moment that I could not explain, but it got my attention. What is happening here? Because I felt things in my heart, my body. I noticed things that this person did and how I thought, what a great gift that person just gave me in the way that they approached helping me with some work that I was doing. It was in a moment that I was trying to create something and their interjection and their support, not only in words, but just in their behavior really stood out to me. And I noticed the attraction to that. And it became As the time went on in that event, it became a stronger uh, attraction and more questions were raised by me. I wanted to just highlight some things here. Um, Like I said, the dance between law of attraction and hello self is like a waltz. And if we stay out of the way, it's a beautiful waltz. But when we get in the way and try to figure out, here's how it's supposed to happen, what the music is or whatever, we get in the way and we miss the value of the awareness, the hello self awareness. And I'm telling you, this awareness knocked me up the side of the head because all of you who know me, (laughs) I am in charge. (laughs) I wasn't in charge then. But what I have discovered from that is I want to know the why and what's of these experiences. So why did that happen? And what does it really mean to me from a, a total soul and spiritual level? So I think that one of the things that I started doing is paying attention to more of these feelings, specifically with the interaction with this person, this one human being. (laughs) Yeah, this one person. But I was really intrigued by who the person was and mostly about the kindness that they showed and the expertise and advice that they gave me. I just want to share some of those things with you. It's possible that many of us get caught up in our mind and ego games. And we call that hello self moments. 
Yes, it is when we start to recognize where did that come from? Why did that happen? What is that all about? And that's the question that I've been asking myself all week is, what's that about? And I really want to explore more of it to see what else I could learn about myself. Because you know what? I'm thinking since I wrote Hello Self and the Listening and the Knowing books, one thing that I'm realizing is I'm more than I see physically and mentally. I'm more. There is a spiritual and the soul aspect of me and you. And I'm convinced, <laughs> this is in my book, The Listening and the Knowing, I'm convinced that we are now, as a society, starting to wake up. Because remember, our whole culture has taught us, this is the way to be, this is a woman, this is a man, this is how relationships happen, this is how you get to the top in wealth. We have been taught a system. And then what we find is that we become a prisoner of that system without even beginning to touch into an awareness of who am I? Who am I? And so I think because I've been really, not only that particular week, but just in the last couple or three years, I've really been wanting to learn more about myself and about others and what really makes the human being tick. And it's not, I have discovered, not all about the mind and the ego. However, what happens a lot of times, our emotions will not let us go into the hello self moments or the awarenesses and so we fail to listen. And the listening is what gives us the knowing. So we just assume, yeah, I know myself because this is the way I brought up. And this is the way I'm supposed to be a woman. And this is the way relationships are. And these are the ages that relationships, age has nothing to do with it. Men and women have nothing to do with it, I'm thinking. It, because it's not only, we're not only attracted to the opposite sex. I remember I met with a gentleman recently who had helped me with my one woman show in a, a few years ago. And so we talked from the heart level and the soul level, and it was the great luncheon. He was passing through Tennessee and he said, I want to talk to you. So we met. You talk about hello self moments. And one thing that he told me, because he is younger than me, one thing that he told me was, Patricia, did you know as a little boy how much I admired you because you paid attention to me? You wanted to know what was I going to do when I grow up? And then you told me it really doesn't matter. Those are just the questions we usually ask. <laughs> but anyway, the great thing was that it really, and I have to tell you something else, the waiter, the waitress that was waiting on us stood for a little while and said, you guys are really engrossed in a deep conversation. And she said, I'm sorry I'm paying attention but she said, I'm so intrigued by the depth of the conversation that I'm hearing you each talk about. Guess what happened? She started talking to us about her own awarenesses and hello self moments recently. We are a society, and I'm convinced of this, and I'm one of them learning too. I'm convinced that we are waking up as individuals if we choose to listen and pay attention and know what we know and get out of the constructs and the prisoners of 
social norms that we have been uh, brought up in. So I'm really excited about discovering more about, I because this law of attraction uh, doesn't just happen with relationships. It's uh, maybe a business that you want to be in. It may be a car that you love. Uh, but I want to know what creates that? Where does it come from? Some people say it would be a past life. I even asked this person, what do you believe is that drives an attraction to somebody or something else? Because I want to know more and I want to keep discovering and uncovering this for me. And I'm going to share it with you because my very next podcast is going to take this to the next level. Some of it will be my own discoveries, but then I also want to do some of the uh, research that has been done by professionals and see what their findings are and see what they recommend if they do about waking up our awareness, our realization that there's more than a physical body. There's more than having certain things. It really, it doesn't make a person happy just to have riches. They've already proven that. People can have everything. And there's still something inside that seems to be missing. Now, I am at the point in my life where I am just open enough to step into it and try it. And the only way I know is to do my research, but then to act on these and talk to the other person about my feelings, about my attractions. That doesn't mean that I have the answers. It just means that we start a conversation about it which has been so much of men and women to women, not being honest with each other and not really talking about life from a soul level. It's always this surfacey conversation, which I don't know about you, but I'm finished with all of that. I really want to know why I came to planet Earth this lifetime and what my purpose and commitment to soul at that point when I was born, when I came here, I want to know what my purpose was defined and my goal or whatever you want to call it, but my life purpose, because some people say that if you don't live it out <laughs> in a previous life, you will live it out this time. I'm ready to experience everything that comes to me this time. Now, it doesn't mean that it'll always be something that I will accept, but I want to know the why of the awareness and the why, the what is it really and why and where does it come from? So I'm going to share more of that with you. And if you're interested, check out my next podcast. It'll be on my website and I will post it. And it'll be on YouTube and all the sites that um, podcasts are on. So check it out. And if you are interested, my books are on Amazon, Hello Self and The Listening and The Knowing. And you may not be interested in that and you may just want to hear my podcast. But if you do, if you are interested, you can go there and get that. But I'm going to share some of the specifics that I talked about in my listening and the knowing and the Hello Self books in the next podcast. But this may be more than one or two podcasts because now I'm exploring life, not something that I am controlling. I'm open to dance the dance without trying to change the steps and change the music. Thank you so much for listening to me as I explore my own living. And I do hope that it uh, helps you in some way. 
if you if you find yourself attracted to somebody, you might want to explore why first with yourself and then maybe with them. Usually I go to them and then I come back to myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I hope that it adds some value because I do believe that we are a society wanting to wake up and maybe so committed to being a prisoner of the social system and the right ways and this is how you do it and all of that step stuff. I'm over that. I want to step outside the program steps and live life. In signing off, I just want to thank thank you so much for being here today. And I am your host, Patricia Leonard of Hello Self Podcast. And you can see them, as I mentioned, on all the podcast channels. And as always, I say, keep dreaming. And I want to add something else here. Keep living life and paying attention to the signs and the nudges that you get that you can't answer. You don't have a specific answer for. Thank you for joining Hello Self today and may it offer insight and inspire you to stay on your runway to success. Like, share, and subscribe And remember this, keep dreaming.